Okay, there it is. The FedEx guy just delivered it. This is the pond liner, and it's a 20 mil thick, I think, uh, polyethylene. I've got to get it down to the tank and figure out how to unfold it and deploy it. Okay, I just got back from the big box hardware store and I got some plastic and uh, this is black plastic uh, uh, I think this lasts a bit longer, but this is only six mil and uh, I have some other applications where I've used this kind of plastic and it seems to Really really last now six mil is a little thin uh, for uh, Things like this, but it I I've used three mil in my greenhouse and uh, on the grow beds that I have and it seems to do really really well so this is going to be what the lining on the inside of my water tank is going to be lined with you see like I was saying this is three mil uh, bisqueen or, or plastic it's the same stuff but it's only three mils thick and I've got my uh, grow beds here lined with it. I've got uh, some here and some on that side you might see over there. But I've had these here for two years and they haven't given me any problems. As you can see even the stuff that's right here in the sunshine doesn't seem to be deteriorating at all. And it never has sprung a leak. And again this is half as thick as what uh, I've got there I'm going to be using for the tank. So this should do just fine. And of course, here is the tank. Let me back away here so you can see it. Let's look inside it. You can see the insulation on the outside. Now there's gonna be insulation on this as well. But uh, as you can see, what I've got inside here is uh, insulation. And uh, what that's for is, of course, a little bit of thermal insulation. But it's also to, uh, to uh, shield the uh, plastic itself from any roughness that's in the uh, wood here. Now I've taken some precautions not to, to make sure that there's no you know, nails or anything like that sticking out, but the bulk of the weight of anything is going to be down there, so by the time you get up to here the water level might actually top out about, you know, about there where that second line, that first line is right here, if you can see it right there. That's probably as high as the water level is going to get maybe a little higher than that so at that level there's virtually no pressure up there so I'm not going to bother putting any insulation up there so now we'll go up and uh, cut a piece of that uh, plastic that'll fit this tank okay we've got a little bit of wind noise out here so I hope you can still hear me fine but anyway this is uh, 20 feet wide and uh, what I need is a piece that's, a, I've calculated, I need about a 20 by 20 piece. Now this is 100 feet long, so you know, that's about all you can get. I can't get anything 6 mil like this that's only, you know, it's 20 feet wide and only 20 feet long. So I had to buy this whole thing. So there's uh, five, five I, could, I could line five tanks with this the same size if I had to. But anyway, let me open this up and what we're going to do we're going to spread it out a little bit and cut off a 20 foot piece. So here we go. And now I will unroll 20 feet of this stuff. So let's see. And now I'll get the scissors and I'll cut it and leave it folded like it is. Now what I'll do is I'm going to take this uh, leftover piece and put it away, or uh, keep it for safekeeping, and then uh, I'll take this down and uh, we'll try to put it in the tank. Okay, so here we are, and this is that 20 by 20 foot piece of plastic that I'm going to put in there. And you might notice behind me here, there's a whole bunch more black plastic. And what that is, is I initially tried to use a pond liner that was 20 mil thick. And I think for a pond liner, 20 mil is, is about as thin as you can get it. But I ordered a piece of that that was uh, 25 by 20 feet. 
and I tried to put it in in the uh, tank, and you know how you have to get it around the sides, and then you have to punch it down so that it'll fill in the sides. I couldn't do it. I uh, tried for about a week, and I, I put a little bit of water in it, and you know, hopefully that would flatten the bottom out, and then I was going to get the sides all in there, and I could not do it. So, lesson for the wise, if you're by yourself, uh, if you got the plastic that's too thick, you're just not going to be able to handle it. It was kind of like, I don't know, folding up elephant skin and trying to get it into a shoe box, you know. It just didn't work. Now this stuff is a lot more flexible because this is 6 mil and that's 20 mil. So what is that? That's about one third as thick as this stuff is. And you can feel it, you can handle it, it's a lot more easy to deal with. So now what I'm going to do is just put this in there and uh, try to line it up, uh, you know, get it in there kind of good. And then try to, you know, uh, put, a, put about an inch or two of water in it to get the bottom all flattened out. And the, the technique I'm going to use is as I get the water in there is just to go around the sides and kind of pull up the sides a little bit to kind of get, uh, you know, the important wrinkles out of the bottom and then uh, put it over the sides and let it fill up and what's going to happen is we're going to have all along the sides because there's going to be excess uh, plastic there because it's kind of be it have to be folded up it's going to just fold up kind of natural and it's going to look a little sloppy but as long as it folds up and it's okay i'm not going to care how it looks so let's get on with this and off we go Okay, so the technique that I'm trying to use to put this liner in there, as you can see right here, I've stapled the corner, and here's a corner, you see, uh, on one side of the, uh, the uh, tank, and I've done that on all four corners. You can see there's another corner, and the corner goes back there. Now, if you look back here, let me back up a little bit. Now, as you can see, all four of those corners there's a whole lot of slop here in between. And, and that's what I'm, what I'm going to rely on to basically push down into the tank and, and uh, basically cover up that space that's in there. Now the bottom of the tank is only about, I think, 5 feet by 6 feet, roughly. And this is a 20-foot piece of, uh, of uh, plastic. So it should conform to the bottom shape of the tank real nice and, and still have plenty of material left over to come over the top and tack down. So right now, let's have a look inside how it looks. Right, I don't know if you can see this very well, but this is what it looks like inside. As you can see where it's tacked right there, there's kind of a, it comes down there, so there's a little bit of stress there. So if we put water in it, that's going to have to all push down, so it's going to have to take material up from this way and pull it that way to uh, fill that in. So what I'm going to do is, you know, t take this material and s stuff it all in here and try to, you know, try to make it, well, distribute it as evenly as I can. And then I'm going to put uh, a little hose in here and fill it up a little bit uh, with maybe about an inch of water. And that should weigh down the bottom part of it enough that we can uh, finish uh, making sure that we have all of the sides laid out properly so that we can fill the tank up. Okay, there goes the water. I may have to turn that down a little bit. Okay, the water's flowing and hopefully in a, maybe a day we'll uh, have a couple inches of water in there, maybe by tomorrow morning. And then I can jostle the tank lining around a little bit and get everything lined up a little bit better and then go ahead and fill it up. Now some of you probably saw that little trickle of water that I put in there. And uh, you know, might say, uh, well, why don't you just uh, fill it up, turn the water on all the way and fill it up. And it's because I, I have some restrictions on the well. And that's one of the reasons that I'm building these tanks is because the well uh, cannot sustain a high flow rate. Uh, I think I looked at the well logs when, I, when the well was dug and the well can sustain about a two and a half gallon per
per hour uh, flow rate, you know, steady state. If you, you know, and you know, you turn on a garden hose, you get a lot more flow than that. Now the point being is that uh, if I just turn the water on, you know, and let the, and fill up that garden hose, you know, it would take about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes before the well is starved. And what that means is the well is just a hole in the ground about that big around, and there's a water level in it. It usually stays about 100 feet below our surface, and the well is 200 feet deep. So, you know, as you pull water out of it, 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 the water level in the well goes down and it gets replenished from the sides. Now, the sides replenishment, the replenishment from the sides is at a flow rate of about two and a half gallons an hour. So if I draw more than two and a half gallons an hour continuously out of the well, I'm going to run out of water. So. That's uh, one of the reasons to use this. Now, if I turned on the water just did a, like one gallon an hour, I could do that 24-7 and not starve the well. And one gallon an hour in a day will get you about 1,400 gallons of water. So, you know, it's, it's kind of like charging up a battery and saving it up. So that's what I've got to do. So here, to just put an inch or two of water in the bottom of this tank right now, turn on the, the water to be just a trickle. And uh, we'll come back tomorrow and hopefully we've got a few inches of water in the bottle. The water level is uh, oh, about, uh, oh, about right about there. See that little black uh, hinge on the, on the ladder? That's about how high the water level is. But let's go in there and look. And oh, the one thing before we go up there, just notice there's no water on the floor. So this is not leaking. And we climb this little ladder. Hold on to this so we don't lose it. But there. Yeah, I can see that pretty well. There's dust on top, but you see there's the water level. So the tank is holding water quite well. So this is going to work. And when it's up up there to the top level, you know, where I'm gonna put the top level, it'll it'll hold about uh, I think I calculated 1,100 gallons.